Hello comic book people out there! It is Wednesday and it is comic book day and it is an awesome day. So many good titles came out. Let me show you what I got. First I got Star Wars issue number 23. The Rebels, or in this case Han, Luke, and Leia, have captured a Star Destroyer in the hopes of going through a blockade of the Empire in order to rescue a planet that's allied with the Rebellion. It's a cute issue because we get some playful banter between the main characters, but we also have a very serious threat leaving off on the issue, giving a huge cliffhanger. Wonder Woman issue number 7. This is a great comic book series. In fact, this is one of my favorite that's come out from the Rebirth titles from DC Comics. Wonder Woman has been helping Cheetah so that Cheetah will help her find Themyscira. And I personally feel like this is a satisfying ending for Cheetah so that she can find her humanity again and find redemption. Titans, issue number three. Kadabra is being made into a major villain for the Titans. However, the reader knows that there's much more going on behind the scenes. The comic itself gives little hints here and there letting you know that there is something else. But the whole Rebirth storyline is going to unfold very slowly over the next couple of years. So right now, we're only getting little panels here and there, and we're getting different characters coming up with ideas that maybe something else is happening. But overall, I'm really liking this title a lot, especially being that all of these characters feel as though they're a family. I like them more than I like the Justice League, and that's saying a lot because I used to love the Justice League more than anyone else. Except for the Young Justice comic book, which I really think that a rebirth Young Justice should be done, but I won't go into that. Harley Quinn and her Gang of Harleys issue number 6 of 6. This is the last issue for this miniseries, which is unfortunate because I did really enjoy it. Harley takes it upon herself to try to save the villain of this story whose name is Harley Sin. She was trying to be recruited herself into Harley's gang but was rejected and she went off on the deep end. Or deeper end being that she's pretty insane herself but she is trying to do the whole hero anti-hero thing and get Harley Sin some sort of help. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps issue number five. In the previous issue Hal Jordan was almost killed by the Sinestro Corps but he was saved by Sinestro's daughter Sornic. Poor Guy Gardner, though, he was captured by the Sinestro Corps, and he's being tortured to try to find the location of the rest of the Green Lantern Corps. This story is definitely solidifying the idea that Hal Jordan is unique amongst the other Green Lanterns. He created his own ring out of his own willpower, and since that's something only the Guardians can do, it definitely makes him stand out amongst the other Green Lanterns. He hasn't rejoined them yet, but this ends off where it looks like maybe in the next issue this could happen. Batman Detective Comics issue number 941, the Monster Men storyline, part Three. A hurricane is hitting Gotham City while some of Gotham City's citizens are turning into giant monsters and in another location they're being infected by some sort of hate plague and Batman's allies are growing thin because some of them are also being affected. Things just aren't going so well for him right now. Also this storyline is somewhat gross. Not that I'm not used to seeing blood but it's like characters are being ripped apart and their blood and guts are going everywhere. Steve Rogers Captain America issue number five. This is a tie-in for the Civil War storyline. It's not really an essential read but it does give a little bit more backstory as to what his character is doing during this storyline. We're also still getting backstory as to how his timeline was manipulated for him to become a Hydra agent. Action Comics number 946. There's a new Clark Kent that's been running around since the Rebirth storylines have been going on. And this kind of, sort of, maybe explains where he came from, but maybe not. There's probably going to be a lot more explained to this later on down the line. Final issue I got was Sam Wilson, Captain America, issue number 13. Sam Wilson takes on U.S. Agent, or U.S. Agent takes him on, which whichever way you want to think about it. Regardless though, it is a great fight. This comic book is a great read. I feel like it should be nominated for an award. There are a lot of racial, social issues happening in this comic book, which kind of symbolizes about what's happening in our own society now. But the comic book, of course, is going in its own superhero sci-fi kind of way. But I really enjoy how this is being portrayed. And I love Sam Wilson's take on being Captain America and how it seems as though all of these other oppressors are trying to take the mantle back from it. But that's my comic load for this week. I also got Batman Beyond Rebirth, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. So what title did you pick up? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon site when you get a chance, and I'll join you guys with another video very soon. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.